Hello and welcome to this presentation about the Social Vulnerability Index. In the next few slides, we're going to talk about what the Social Vulnerability Index is, how does it apply in Arizona, how is it calculated, and uh, a few of its possible uses. So what is the Social Vulnerability Index, or SVI? It is a measure created by the Center for Disease Control and the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, also known as ASTDR, uh, which identifies the level of vulnerability of a community all across the United States. Um, it was first created so that decision makers could quickly identify what areas would need the most assistance uh, when crisis hit. Uh, this crisis can be natural disasters like earthquakes, tornadoes, or like we just lived with uh, COVID-19, um, it could be a pandemic. The index goes from zero to one, where one is the most vulnerable that a community can be. This map shows the vulnerability of uh, census tracts across Arizona. It goes from uh, a very light blue uh, representing the a low vulnerability and goes up to a darker shade of blue uh, representing a higher vulnerability. What we did here by Liz was also trying to understand what were the most vulnerable communities in Arizona. To do that we uh, used the SVI and selected those uh, census tracts that had an uh, an index that was on the 80th percentile or above. So these are really the communities that are uh, considered the most vulnerable, that have a SVI that is 0.8 uh, to 1. We did this both for the state as a whole and for the Phoenix area. If you want to learn more uh, and navigate through these maps to uh, understand what is the vulnerability of each of these census tracts, you can follow the link below. So it's also important to understand, how is the SVI calculated? The CDC selected these four factors uh, to measure the vulnerability in a community. They looked at the socioeconomic status, the household composition and disability, housing type and transportation, and the minority status and language. Um, so for instance, for socioeconomic status, they will try to understand and look at how many households are there in this community that are living below poverty, or how many of them are unemployed, uh, what is their income, or how many don't have a high school diploma. They will then try to understand uh, another measure of vulnerability, which is housing. So how many households are there that are living in a multi-unit structure, in mobile homes, or don't have a vehicle? Uh, they, will, they will then calculate the vulnerability for each of these uh, elements uh, that appear here and come up with uh, a single number uh, representing the vulnerability for that specific community. As we briefly mentioned, the CDC created the SVI uh, so that decision makers could address emergency response by community need. So for instance, by uh, looking at the vulnerability of a community, they will be able to understand uh, the amount of supplies needed uh, to respond to a certain crisis or the number of emergency personnel or identify those areas that are in need of emergency shelters and continued support. But more generally, the SVI could be used as a tool for community-based organizations and entities who are deploying programs, but want to do so with an equity lens and identify uh, and, uh, the areas that are most vulnerable and prioritize funding for these areas that are at higher risk. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. I hope that you have learned a little bit more about the SVI and its different uses. If you're interested in uh, learning more about what makes a community healthy uh, and the different social determinants of health, and you're looking for data specific to Arizona, uh, we have a data dashboard that is available on our website, vitalisthealth.org. Um, so just follow the link and uh, I hope that you can find useful data for you. Thank you so much.